Welcome to Midnight Toast. This is the Low Pants. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're talking Midnight Toast. I got lots to talk about today and I'm so excited. I'm here with my favorite co-host, Jay, my husband. And you guys, we went and saw the new movie. I can't say its title within the first minute of recording a video because YouTube is weird. But you'll know by the <laughs> thumbnail of this video what I'm talking about. And we will be able to say the name soon. 30 more seconds. But yeah, so we went and saw the movie. So we have lots to talk about. Without further ado, here's my husband, Jay. Hi, this is Jay, Dr. Bad Vibes. Uh, I also just saw Jackass Forever and... I guess we're going to talk about that, and we've also been watching, rewatching some of the older shows, uh, because when this trailer came out, it uh, kept uh, pushing the movie back as time went on. So we've had a lot of time to rewatch a lot of things. Yeah, so it's so much fun. We're really enjoying the rewatch. Let me go ahead and tell you that we are going to talk about the movie because we just got home from seeing it. P.S. Loved it. Um, so if you don't want to know what's going to happen in the movie, you may want to skip this episode. But if you're okay knowing, it's still hilarious to watch, right? I mean, but if you're okay knowing the stunts and stick with us. But yeah, we love the old Jackass stuff. Yeah, I watched the old show a lot. Uh, even the CKY videos, I watched a ton of those in college. Or well, the two or three over and over and over. But uh, I never really watched Wild Boys until we... Uh, started it here lately and uh, that show's really funny I, I underestimated how funny that one is it really is and i think it's honestly like jay i don't think i've actually asked you who's your favorite jackass um i like a lot of them and it's you know it's probably changed over the years but uh currently uh especially knowing how they are in real life i'd say steve-o that's awesome. He's probably my number two. I think Chris Pontius is, is maybe my funniest. So I totally make sense that we would love Wild Boys because that's Pontius and Steve-O. And sometimes like Wee Man will join. But yeah, that's a really funny show if you haven't seen that. Yeah, and I, I, I guess it explains that show too because those two have probably the most personality and they work well together. Uh, Pontius, he, he comes up with a lot of witty stuff, which I always assumed was scripted. But uh Nah, it's just off the cuff. And then, you know, he, he tells a joke and he's just like, ha, 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 I love when you do that laugh. Okay, keep going. What you got, Chris Pontius? <laughs> Funny the lifeguard here. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. Oh, my God. Just wait. Jay does some impressions. Do you care to do anybody else, Jay? Yeah, dude. <laughs> like th that, that's like the lowest hanging fruit. <laughs> I, think it, I feel like anybody can do Steve-O. Just wreck it. Okay, now you're you're putting me on the spot. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I just have to take a bunch of you know what, and then I can sound like Steve. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we love these shows. Um, can we take a second before we dive into the movie and talk about? Oh, it's hard to talk about. Bam. What the hell happened there? Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. I mean, going back to CKY, I mean, he was like half of uh, the whole Jackass crew i guess i mean his you know he had his crew he had the knoxville crew and uh yeah i guess he just uh i mean they've all had their personal issues but he's still dealing with his uh it's unfortunate it really is and i've you know i well you know you and i have watched the bam what was that called bam show what was uh, it <laughs> gosh viva la bam yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it viva la bam so yeah we watched that i mean i watched it before you and then you and i watched it together and he was always a mess and sometimes he got a little hard to watch because he'd torture phil and ape but it was also funny i mean yeah i mean he he seemed kind of like uh okay overall but yeah the way he treated his family it's like yeah something's something's a little off with him Mm hmm. but one of my favorite sketches if i can say from that Viva bam do you remember when <laughs> I think it was April's favorite color is blue, so he spray painted everything in the entire oh, kitchen yeah. blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I'm afraid our karma for laughing at that is going to be our kids spray painting everything in the house blue. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give her ideas. No. But yeah, so we watched Viva La Bam. So more recently, we watched what was that Action Point Action Park? So so yeah, it's actually called Action Point. Uh, Action Park is the real one. 
I guess they didn't want to have to pay anybody any money or, you know, whatever legal reason, but it, it's totally based on that actual park, uh, which we saw several documentaries on. Those are hilarious in their own. And then this is basically a fictional retelling with jackass stunts mixed in. Exactly. And I didn't hate it. It was just, it was just not, it was not a jackass movie. We've since seen that. I guess it did. So I mean, we just watched something on it. It did so bad. They tried to re package it like a jackass movie uh yeah it did horribly bad i didn't realize how bad it did uh -uh. what do you remember the number off the top of your head i don't know if it was just opening weekend or overall but uh either way it was under a million i think it was like eight hundred thousand dollars i assume opening weekend so that's pretty bad for a you know it was a paramount movie that's a big big release yeah it, i mean it was fine because we're such big fans we didn't hate it it just Definitely was missing the magic, and it was not a Jackass movie. Yeah, I feel the same way with the uh, the Grandpa movies. I mean, like I like the Jackass stuff, yeah. but when you put it, when you try to attach like a story or like a narrative to it, it doesn't really work. We just want to, you know, it's like it's like watching a Schwarzenegger movie. It's like, yeah, there's a story, whatever. Just you know, just show the heads get ripped off. Did you bring up Schwarzenegger so you could do the impression? Go ahead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So if Steve-O and Schwarzenegger were to say hi to each other, what would that sound like? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, hang on. Oh, that's I'm Rambo. On <laughs> I'm on the spot here. Uh, get to the yeah. chopper. <laughs> Hop in, Steve-O, if you want to live. I'm going to drive. <laughs> Perfect. Perfection. I love it. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm trying to think what else we've, like I said, we watched, oh, I even watched the BAM, um, going back to BAM, we watched, of course. Unholy Union? Yes, that's what it was. I couldn't think of the name, where he got married to Missy or Misty, I can't remember her name, but. Yeah. It was okay. I, you know, I like bad reality TV, and that's what it was, but I don't, I, I found myself liking everybody in the show except for BAM. <laughs> yeah, he, he, the more he, it showed his personal life. He seemed kind of like a sociopath that just wanted to mess with his family and friends. Exactly. Yeah. And then his wife at the time, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, I figured it was for the cameras, but it may be for real life also. I don't know. I think you're right. Oh, crazy. But then, so uh, what the most recent thing we watched, we watched Shark Week. You want to tell them about Shark Week? Oh, yeah. That was crazy. So. I guess it was supposed to be a tie-in with this movie. Again, it got delayed so much. One of the uh, the newer characters, uh, Poopies. <laughs> yep, that's the, his uh, name. J yeah, Poopies. Jackass the New Generation. So they, they did a thing for Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. and I mean, they've done plenty of star shark stunts in the past, but uh, I guess this is the first one that really went wrong. He, he got a pretty bad bite, and they had to... Uh, uh, med flat him out and it was uh it was pretty serious but luckily uh you know nothing permanent it, that i recall it was intense to watch I, I think he had a pretty nasty scar i can't remember like his dad was maybe flown in there was something like that it was pretty bad yeah it was, it was i mean you know it's still a shark bite at the end of the day right. i mean it wasn't it wasn't <laughs> a puppy the, yeah yeah he didn't just walk it off but uh luckily i don't it didn't hit anything major so he didn't lose any uh limbs or uh, tissue it was just a deep cut i guess oh my gosh yeah i think was it a mako shark i can't remember now but whatever it was that um manny the shark or the animal expert from uh wild boys i believe was there or he was talking about it and it seemed pretty it was pretty intense yeah like when, when he gets worried you know it's it's serious exactly wow but yeah, so I think that's all the before stuff. I did watch a little bit of CKY. I think you showed it to me. That wasn't quite... To me, it just wasn't as funny. I guess they hadn't developed into Jackass at that point. Um, but yeah. Yeah, they were, straight, they were straight up teenagers then. So, yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so we can jump into... Well, before we get into the movies, tell them about some of the previews that we saw. Because we haven't been to the movies oh. in forever. <laughs> and we went on a weekday. We were literally the only ones in the theater. It was awesome. What previews did we see? Gosh, yeah. Boy, did we see some previews. Woo! I don't remember... I, I remember looking at my watch. It was at least twenty five minutes of previews. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's I guess it's always been like that. But we're you know, uh, thanks to uh, current events, <laughs> we haven't been to the theaters that often. It's just a, a little bit of a shock. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, what, the first one was like some Nicolas Cage, <laughs> oh, uh, like self -refer referential thing. I, I I 
can't tell how much is uh, satire and how much is real. It was. It was the guy, you'll know his name, from uh, Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, uh, pa- Pedro Pes- yes, Pascal. I think you're right. So that guy and Nicolas Cage, and they, I mean, it wasn't like Nick Cage playing a character. It was Nick Cage being Nick Cage. And it just looked, pr- I mean, I'd watch it. I don't want to go to the theater to see it. But when it's available to rent, we'll, we can rent it. But it just looks silly. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it's on that fine line. It's like it could be stupid enough to be good, but it could also be stu- stupid enough to just be stupid. Right. I don't know if it's not, in on the joke or not. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's like when when they make jokes about themselves, that could go one way or the other. But I, I'd give it a chance. I'd say I'd try it. Why not? Um, okay, so the second. Do you remember the second? preview we saw good lord i had to hide my face in your <laughs> shoulder <laughs> we're the only yeah, two was... in the theater and i was squealing like screaming i don't like it <laughs> yeah I, I didn't know what it was at first i thought it was like uh yet another exorcist remake I, I i've watched a lot of horror movies not so much the exorcist stuff it just doesn't interest me it's too like i mean i don't you know whatever that's that's not my thing and you know i'm like oh it's another remake but it just kept going on and on oh and God. on and it was like scary kid stuff, and I'm just not into that. Like haunted kids. Yeah, it's like, hey, let's take. I'm thinking back to the like, you know, the original Exorcist, but it's like, hey, you remember that part where the girl's really creepy? Yeah. Let's just do that for a whole trailer for like yeah, five minutes. An extended trailer of a creepy kid. I'm just not into it. Yeah. So. I don't know, and, yeah. and I kept thinking, like, who is this for? The ac- the audience of Jackass wants to see. I guess it's just because it's R-rated. I don't know. I don't know why they showed that. Yeah, that's literally all I could think. It's like, well, it's R-rated. I guess it's the only time they can play it. But uh, but then, yeah. do you remember right after that, they showed a preview? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like a cartoon kids movie about... That's right. Yeah, it was a DreamWorks movie. <laughs> Bad guys to becoming good guys kind of thing. Yeah, it's like some uh, you know kids cartoon movie about the big bad wolf being a good guy. It's like, okay. <laughs> Right after the, Again, pu- the, you know, the demon for? girl. Right. <laughs> wow. In case you brought demon <clears throat> kids to see Jackass. Good Lord. Yeah. So then you'll be able to speak to this better than I will. They showed a preview for Batman. You're more into that superhero stuff than I am. I like the Michael Keaton Batman days. Not so much since then. What are your thoughts on the new Batman trailer? It's. Hard, I mean, it's hard to say. Uh, you know, I didn't have high hopes for the Christian Bale Batman movies. And I liked... Third one was a little weak, but I, I really liked the first two. Uh, I mean, hell yeah, I even liked the uh, the post Michael Keaton movies, the uh, uh, Joel Schumacher ones. Like, if you watch those as comedies, they're fucking gold. That's awesome. <laughs> like Ar- Arnold as Mister Freeze, like it's such a bad idea. It's great, but uh, not not good Batman movies. Right. No, <laughs> I, I'm worried it's doing the mistake that the comics did, where it's like. It's like, you know, oh, we got to be emo edgelord now and be super dark. And I mean, he even had an emo haircut, you know. (laughs) Very angsty, yes. Yeah, it's just very gritty, very dark. I mean, I'll give it a chance. It's freaking Batman. I like (laughs) it. But uh, I'm a little worried about it. I like uh, what's her, Zoe Kravitz is in there as Catwoman. I don't know about the character of Catwoman, but I do like her. So I give it a chance for that, maybe. And I'm sure she'll be better than Halle Berry was. (laughs) Meow. <laughs> yeah, everybody remember that one. If you haven't seen that, just go on YouTube and just like, I think if you just search Halle Berry Catwoman, it'll show that awful uh, scene where she plays basketball. Wow. Just see, just watch that and you're good. I don't even know the movies that well, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I, actually, I haven't even seen the movie. I just saw that and I'm like, okay, I'm good. That's funny. <laughs> um. Okay, so what else? Oh, I, real quick, back on Batman. So I did notice they kept him out the Riddler, so obviously that's going to be play a big part was that anybody i can't remember who was in the preview i can't remember who plays him in this i did laugh though because you've probably seen a photo of me but the riddler's wearing like a a military snow mask oh yeah uh, to cover his face (laughs) so uh yeah i've got a photo of wearing that same mask pretty much from from years ago and it's like the mouth uh you can unbutton the mouth so there's a picture of me with my mouth covered up and then i'm smiling real big underneath it it's it's beautiful it's as creepy as it sounds yes <laughs> <laughs> and then finally we had a preview for lost city city which i've not heard of it's yeah first i've heard of it yeah sandra bullock and then what's the guy's name that's in it wink wink 
<laughs> uh, charming Taint Man. That's right. So if you don't know what we're talking about, it's, uh, of course, Channing Tatum, but we love Always Sunny, and in one episode, Charlie calls him Charming Taint Man. <laughs> so that's all we know him as, Charming Taint Man. But, uh, and then su- surprised to see uh, Brad Pitt in there. He was He showed up toward the end of the preview. Yeah, I was like, oh, hey, that's Brad Pitt. That's random. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, it's probably going to be a train wreck of a movie, but I'll be honest, I don't care. It doesn't take much to entertain me. I'll watch it. Yeah, that may not be a theater movie necessarily, but I, I'd give it a chance. Yeah. Uh, I, I like parodies, you know, you know, as long as they're not, you know, the, the dime store Walmart bin kind. <laughs> right. Well, that's it for the preview, so let's get into the movie. So, I don't, I mean, we can talk, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. I want you to go see this movie if this is something you're into. Maybe rent it. I mean, I really enjoyed it, but, you know, it's up to you. Maybe rent it. Uh, But we can talk general, we can talk our favorite sketches, whatever you want to do. But again, if you don't, we're going to talk about it. So, if you don't want to know, I get it. Just cut it off. It's cool. And if you don't, too bad because every fucking trailer shows the whole movie now. So, <laughs> so you've probably you've probably seen half the half the skits already. That's okay. So thank you for that. You're exactly right. That was our number one thing. We were whispering to each other during the movie and talked about afterwards. Is exactly that. They showed every, I guess, every good thing you saw in the previews. Yeah, if they made a trailer for the Sixth Sense now, we would know Bruce Willis was dead before we even saw the movie. <laughs> How dare you spoil that movie? Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> no, but he's right. We were talking about that. Every movie now has, I guess nobody has an attention span anymore. So they have to show everything in the trailers. Yeah. I mean, even the kids movie. I mean, I feel like we watched like five movies while we were out. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's very strange. But um, yeah. So I'll, I'll do this however you want. We can just kind of talk through some of the segments and some of our favorite parts and yeah, go from there. So the uh, elephant in the room, figuratively and literally, the uh, dick monster. <laughs> uh, let's see. They start out with a Godzilla parody with you know pretty much the whole cast and a monster stomping around, which it looks weird. If, well, is weird, but you don't quite notice what it is. And then uh, it's like, oh, wait, that's a dick. <laughs> exactly. They always started off with something interesting and usually it doesn't involve a dick i can't even remember uh yeah probably <laughs> yeah but yeah exactly exactly what you're saying they pan out you think it's just like some weird monster but nah do you want to tell them what it is i mean we know it's a dick but whose dick is it yeah so yeah, yeah. well it's funny because they use like uh a, a miniature city so you i mean you could tell it's like okay it's gonna be something and then you know once you realize a dick it's a dick it's like well What's up with this? And then you, it zooms out at some point, and you realize it's Pontius with like makeup and paint all over his dick, and they've got like a puppeteer uh, thing attached to it. That is the funniest thing to me. I, that's again why I love Pontius. I, he's so funny with this stuff. He just doesn't mind at all. He's just yeah, puppets mm. his dick. <laughs> painted and up, no shame. Yeah, painted up like a green monster, and they they keep cutting back to it. Like even at the end of the movie, they're showing him painted dancing around with his. <laughs> Green monster dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and then, you know, there's all kinds of jokes. They have, like, they do their own stunts, but it's, it's you know, semi-scripted, uh, you know, it, it's stuff exploding, and it's sending, like, Steve-O flying, and Wee Man, and whoever else flying around. Yeah, it's so funny, and uh, I love it. I think it was a great opening. It really hit funny when you realize that you're staring at a dick and balls. It's painted up. <laughs> Yeah, so the whole thing's pretty much a Godzilla parody. So they end it with a, uh, I guess it's a tie-in. It's like a, a Gamera a parody. If you're familiar with that, that's the giant turtle. Uh-huh. Uh, so they have a, they have an actual snapping turtle uh, crawl onto the set, and uh, it, bi- it bites Godzilla, and <laughs> <laughs> pretty much ends it there. My God, I screamed. Again, we're the only ones in the theater. I screamed when that turtle bit his green-painted dick. <laughs> The the snapping turtle beak that looks sharp yeah. that, that that hurt to watch. <laughs> I don't know how he does this stuff. It's so crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, I don't want to give everything away, so I'll leave out. I won't tell you all the, you know, different sketches. Let's just talk about like. Do you have a favorite one besides the opening? 
<laughs> the opening was pretty creative, mm -hmm. but uh, again, when they when they make it, even if it's just a little bit scripted, it kind of takes me out of it. Mm -hmm. So it was good, but uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. My favorite. Uh, I'll give you a second to think. I'll tell you. Yeah, I yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I really liked. They played this game called the Quiet Game. Now let me go back. They have, of course, you know, as we all are, everybody's getting older. So not only do you have your original cast, we have some new casts. Dark Shark, who we saw on, uh, God, I'm blanking. What was the name of that movie we just talked about? Uh, the Johnny Knoxville movie. Oh, uh, Action Point. Thank you, that one. And his son, Jasper, is on this one. We have uh, Rachel Wolfson. She's a stand-up comedian. We have Zach Holmes, and we have Poopies. So those are our newbies. Okay, so in this skit, The Quiet Game, we have Rachel Wolfson, we have Poopies, and we have Steve-O. And the idea is they're going to do horrible things to these people, and they can't make a <laughs> they, I can't even get through it without laughing. They can't make a noise. So you can imagine where they're going. They have. They did show this part in the, in the trailer. I remember it. They have Rachel licking a stun gun or some sort of electricity. <laughs> situation yeah. and she does a great job she licks it doesn't make a noise you can tell her heart sir doesn't make a noise they have poopies kissing a snake and you guys i hate snakes that would so freak me out <laughs> he doesn't make a noise tell him what happens to poopies uh, yeah joke was on him the snake kissed him first <laughs> uh, at least twice <laughs> it bit him on the nose the damn thing is hanging off it's a big old snake too it's hanging off his nose at one point <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i'd, I'd say if, out of uh the good idea creativity department the, yeah that one was pretty funny uh-huh and then remember steve-o was in this one and he did a skateboard guillotine so they dropped a skateboard with his own face on it down onto his shins from very high up yeah. He did not win this contest, I'll tell you that. He screamed <laughs> <laughs> as he yeah, won. <laughs> he, yeah, he yelled the loudest. Yes. So, unfortunately, he lost. But that was so funny to me. Just unexpected, funny game. I really like that one. Yeah, I mean, really going back, thinking about all the skits they did, I, I can't really remember one where it's like... I was bored, or, you know, if we watch it at home again, I'm going to fast forward it. If, if we're going for creativity, uh, I guess the other the other one that was my favorite was the, uh, the ball sack punching bag. Oh, God! Yes. <laughs> again, it was, uh, you know, for, forced, forced perspective, I guess. They had a miniature set up, and um, what's his name? Preston. They had his balls hanging out of the ceiling of the uh, little, uh, the tiny room they made. And they even, they had like two, uh, I don't know what you would call them, like little impact hammers or something they, they had two power tools that <laughs> they put boxing gloves on made them look like little arms uh -huh. and then they cr cranked them both up and they just like pounded his balls <laughs> till he jumped off the thing it was the so it's made to look like a punching bag yeah and these little hands were punching it but you find out no it's preston's balls oh my yeah God. They, they they went all out on the little arms on the uh <laughs> on the power tools too they had uh, arm hair and uh -huh. a little anchor tattoo i like the uh the attention to detail. That's uh, Pontius. He's got that tattoo, so I think it's meant to be Pontius's arms. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I forgot he had that. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, so fun. Um, we saw Eric Andre, which we knew he was coming because we saw him in the previews. I re yeah, they pretty much showed everything. Yeah. <laughs> again. <laughs> but we anyway, love the Eric Andre show. It's so cringy and awkward, but it's funny. Is it? It's streaming on something, right? Is it not? I can't remember. We may have bought uh, it. I can't remember. I really can't remember. I, that was funny, too. It was, again, when they add the scripted stuff in with it, it's kind of... Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It takes you out of it. But his part, his part was funny. They did. Sh they ruined it in the preview again. We kind of knew what was going to happen. They uh, He went up to order a drink, and something burst out and punched him right in the face. Yeah. I wish they'd used him more. His Yeah. His, his involvement was odd. It seems like he just happened to be in town. They're like, oh, hey, he can hang out with us. Agreed, yeah. The, there was a couple of times we said, it sounds like we didn't like it. We really liked it. But there were a couple of times where they'll set up a joke and they should have revisited it and they didn't. Like this gr that girl, again, Rachel Wolfson, the new one, did this. It was like, God, what, what did she call it? It was like Scorpion Botox. 
Yeah. And they basically she let them have a huge scorpion right next to her and sting her lips repeatedly. And it was awful and painful. And she was a trooper about it. And I just kept thinking, oh, I want you to go back and show me how bad she swelled up after that. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I figured that would be a prime uh, before and after shot. I totally agree. I know. I think it was a missed opportunity on their end. Uh, and then you want to tell them about dirty dancing. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> this was the dirtiest dancing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that's another one. It's like they set it up and it turned into something completely different. Uh, I guess the the idea was Wee Man was going to catch Preston, uh, <laughs> the very the very large man, uh, you know, the same way Patrick Swayze uh, caught uh, Jennifer Grey in that iconic scene. And they didn't really even get through explaining it. And Preston, out of nowhere, shit his pants. <laughs> so they focused more on the shitty pants. And yes, they showed it. It was disgusting. <laughs> But we never got to see Wee Man catch him, and that would have been so funny. Yeah, I mean, I guess that was the only way out. I don't know. I mean, that's physically impossible, and it may have killed him. Yeah, true. <laughs> but we saw, yeah, we saw a lot of, again, I'm not going to talk about it all, but a lot of weight imbalances. We would see big boys <laughs> thrown on little boys, and little boys thrown on big boys, and thrown into crotches, and all, <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I guess since the second movie came out, there somebody had a light bulb go off that said, "Oh, hey, we can show dicks." Yeah, and uh, they, they've they've really leaned into that since. They have. Now, one thing I'll say is, I personally, I don't. The dicks don't bother me. Whatever. The part that bothers me that they also lean into is the throw up. I cannot. <laughs> I know. You see, you're already giggling. Jay thinks it's hilarious and giggles like that throughout, like Pontius throughout. But I can't handle it. I can't. He knows this. I have to bury my face in his arm. I can't watch the throw up. And they, there was some throw up. Not as much throw up in this one as some of the other ones, but there's some throw up in this one. It's, it involves um, excited pigs, we'll just say. Yeah, I can't help it. If I, if I see or hear somebody throw up, it's so hilarious to me. It's just a, I don't know, some built-in reaction I have. <laughs> uh, so one funny thing I will say, again, I'm not trying to give away everything. You'll, you'll still be in for some treats, but, uh, you know, it was it, they call him Danger Aaron. Aaron McGee, the one that is perpetually missing a tooth and stuff, he uh, at one point vomits out his tooth. <laughs> so gross. I was like laughing hysterically and hiding my face at the same time. So gross. <laughs> oh my God. You are laughing like Pontius. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, anything else from the movie that you can think of? You know, it's it, it was a jackass movie. It's what we expected. It's, you know, more of the same. But, uh, I mean, I, it's... You know, we wanted more, so... Yeah. <laughs> we knew what we were going to get with it, and we weren't disappointed. We'll just say it like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess if I were to recommend it to somebody, I'd, you know, if you're in the jackass, I'd say, yeah, watch it. Yes. You don't necessarily have to see it in the theater. Uh, you know, that's one... You, you know, you know they're going to make a Jackass 4.5 uh -huh. uh, combo pack or whatever. So I mean, you, you know, and I, I think they've already announced it'll be streaming on uh, uh, Paramount Plus in March at some point. So we'll be watching I mean, it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll watch it again. I mean, it's it's Jackass. You know, if you like, you either like it or you don't. I guess. So mm -hmm. you know, that's true. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. And then you want to talk about so the credits. So yeah, like the other movies, they. Uh, you know, it had more scenes during the credits. Yeah, you know, things that kind of didn't make the main movie. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, going back a little bit, this kind of ties in with it. Uh, you know, if if you followed this, you know, Bam famously had a falling out and got cut out of the movie. Oh yeah. Uh, you do. You can see him in one of the skits. Uh, they don't. He, you know, he doesn't speak. They don't draw any attention to him. But he uh, he's in one of the skits. Um, he is credited in the movie, like towards. Towards the end, he was in it, but uh, uh, at the same time, the credits were showing like archive footage, uh, you know, juxtaposed with current footage. So showing, you know, they're still stupid when they're old. <laughs> so yeah, so fill me in more about the BAM thing because I can't even. I know it's hard to talk about, and YouTube doesn't like us talking about certain subject matters, but it has to do with rhymes with smrugs, possibly. <laughs> 
but <laughs> I think it has to allegedly do with that. Is that what? There's something. What happened with Bam? Uh, yeah, the majority of it. I mean, it sounds like he he had very public problems with uh, stuff, different substances uh-huh. uh, over the years, and I guess well, a, a lot of them did. Uh, Stevo in particular, who it, if just a side note, it's crazy. He's been sober for like seven or eight years now. Yeah, and he he's like the most normal one of the bunch now. <laughs> so if you haven't kept up with Stevo, check out his YouTube channel because it's it's pretty entertaining. He still does crazy stuff, but he's like he's got his he's got his laugh together now. It's so weird. <laughs> Seriously, if we had bet on who would have pulled out of this most together, would you have ever guessed Stevo? Seriously, like that still blows my mind every time we watch his channel. But then, uh, <laughs> similar to Bam, I mean, so P- Stevo had his public meltdown. It was like TMZ, blah blah blah. He went to rehab, got better. Um, Bam had, I guess, he's had several public freakouts. And I guess he's refused to help most, if not all, the times. Mm-hmm. And I, this is the part I'm a little hazy on. I think based on that, they didn't want to involve him in the movie. So he was super pissed. He went on Instagram or whatever, uh, had a rant to, before they started filming the movie. Or maybe it was right when they started, like, you know, saying they owe him money, they're cutting him out, blah, blah, blah. And then they ended up putting him, I guess, picking him up, put him in the movie. Uh-huh. And. I guess once they started filming, I mean, he was obviously there. I mean, you could see him in that one skit. Yes. Uh, I guess he had to sign some sort of wellness agreement where he had, you know, some sort of testing done every day. And I guess he tested positive for something. And that's the point of contention now. He tested positive for something you can get a prescription for. He had a prescription. So I, I assume that's part of what delayed the movie. It sounds like there's a lot of legal stuff going on. And he was essentially taken off the movie. It sounds like there's a lot of bad blood, uh, behind-the-scenes stuff. We don't know the whole story. But that's why he's not in it. <laughs> no, that's that's exactly it. And that was so much more helpful. Thank you. But yeah, um, like Jay said, we like to watch Steve-O's YouTube channel. I know it sounds weird, but he's really entertaining, and he does. Was it? Was is it Van Life or Van Tour? Uh, wild, Wild Ride. Wild. He's got his. Uh, yeah, he's got a podcast yeah. out of a van. Yeah, he does. And if you're into the Jackass guys at all, that's a real. I mean, we've enjoyed the podcast. We just kind of listen to it while we do work sometimes. Yeah, but he refers back, and and, and one episode we watched, I remember him. I can't remember who he's talking to, but maybe Johnny Knoxville about. He wouldn't get into specifics, but he said he basically he's been there and until Bam is willing to accept help, there's just nothing they can do. And he remembers being envious of Bam when he was going through his stuff and Bam had his shit more together. And now he wishes that that would be the case again, you know? Hopefully he gets the help he wants. And I'm not trying to kick somebody while they're down. But man, if you if you haven't seen Bam in a long time, especially since the previous movies, uh, you know, just Google Bam twenty twenty two or twenty twenty one. He he looks rough. Yeah. Uh, he, he's he's had some he's had some mileage put on. I mean, they we all do, right? Like you get older, it happens. Yeah. But these jackass guys, where they take such beatings, yeah, you can see it on them. But Bam looks especially rough. You're right. Yeah. Just kind of shocking to see. But then um, the thing that I really liked, you knew it was going to happen. I didn't even know. Tell us about the end credits. Oh, yeah. I, part of it uh, touched on where they showed old footage and new footage. And, of course, when you do that, you can't avoid showing footage of Ryan Dunn. So they had a little uh, tribute to Ryan Dunn briefly at the end. Uh, I had read about that beforehand. I really tried not to read anything. I did come across that and, the and you know, a uh, few small things like Bam being in the movie. But... You know, it's nice that they acknowledged, uh, you know, one of their fallen comrades. Yeah, I know. It breaks my heart, that whole thing. And I'm glad that they chose to pay tribute to him and, and to do that. I think that was a nice touch. Yeah, and just going back in general, I mean, uh, my favorite parts of that, I mean, the tribute, obviously, but then, uh, you know, showing Johnny Knoxville essentially doing the same stunt, you know, uh, 20 years apart. So were there any other parts that stood out for you about the movie that you enjoyed? Well, again, uh, ruined surprises. Uh, <laughs> the part with the bull was very uh, uh, visible in all the trailers and the media <laughs> tour. But, I mean, it's still shocking. I mean, uh, bulls are no bull. Uh, 
just growing up where I grew up, like uh, lots of cattle in the area, and uh, yeah, yeah, you don't. You, bulls are very dangerous. <laughs> uh, Steve-O even said he will not mess with a bull, even when he was like, you know, had no regard for his own life. Yeah, he literally said that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And if he's and stepping I, back, it's got. And he swims with sharks and shit. So if he's saying that, that's got to be bad. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's. I think pretty much the the. The gist of it's in the trailer. Uh, the bull uh, just mows over Johnny Knoxville, and he does like a 450 in the air and lands directly on his head. And um, he gets a pretty severe concussion, breaks some <laughs> bones. and Yeah, I think it was his uh, wrist and maybe a rib, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And it was... It was pretty gnarly to look at. And then on top of that, you know, he's already had... I mean, well, yeah, they joke about it in the movie. Like, ha-ha, concussions are safe until, you you know, until you're over 50 and he's 49. Ha-ha. But, yeah, I mean, he's had a lot of concussions over the years. And, yeah. like, I don't think most people have many of those on their punch card. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think that'd be the case. So, uh, yeah, anyway, concussions, serious business... Don't ever mess around with those. Uh, well, yeah, even firsthand, I've concussed myself once. <laughs> <laughs> I did exactly what you're not supposed to do. Luckily, I was young. Nothing happened. But uh, I've had to deal with them in person. Uh, they are scary. And on top of that, like this kind of ties in with it. So along with this movie, veering off in the wrestling territory, but uh, Johnny Knoxville's been on WWE, like messing with one of the guys, like, you know, having a match, blah, 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 you know, cross promotional thing. And you know, I, I, I haven't really, we haven't really been watching wrestling at all lately. But uh, we'll it was kind of on my radar. WrestleMania, I'm excited for that. Yeah, we usually just watch that, you know, the once a year thing, and you know, it catches you up with. Well, and yeah, he's supposed to have a match at WrestleMania this year, which is insane. Which leads me into the to the tidbit I, I caught that I never really thought about. So, you know, he had all these very public concussions, and he just came off of getting injured severely by that bull. I mean. They filmed this movie pretty recently, and uh, so there was a wrestler uh, in WWE who had multiple concussions, and uh, yeah. he uh, he was he was forced to retire because of all of his concussions. He couldn't wrestle for like four years or something, and I guess he finally healed and rehabbed enough where he was able to come back. Uh, uh, Daniel Bryan, if you've heard of him, he's he's the the yes chant guy. He's a good guy. We really like him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he sounds like he's a, he's a pretty cool guy in real life, a uh, nice guy. He's married but, so to it, one of the Bella Twins. So if you don't watch wrestling, you've probably heard of the Bella Twins. So, uh, so yeah, so he his career got derailed for like four plus years, however long it was. And then Johnny Knoxville, who's had all these public concussions and injuries, just waltzes right in and he gets to have a match. Uh, so it sounds like a lot of people were very annoyed by that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's like, oh, he's famous, so uh, medical protocol doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's his job. Although, you could argue that's Daniel Bryan's job, too. Yeah, I mean, either way, concussions aren't good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I didn't uh, mean it like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, like, it's... You can't mess around uh, with those, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's you know, definitely a double standard, I guess, if you're coming from Hollywood or mm -hmm. something. I, I don't know. Very, very odd. But there were a couple of skits where they were seriously bleeding from the head and on stretchers and taken away. And stuff. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these skits are obviously staged to an extent, mm -hmm. but I mean... I mean, well, same with wrestling. I mean, you can script the whole thing out, but I mean, you can't stage falling through a building or, or <laughs> you know, getting hit with a motorcycle or whatever. It's funny. And then uh, there was a funny scene with Wee Man that I really liked where he, again, I'm not trying to give away the whole movie, still watch it. We'll just say he landed in the wrong place during a skit, and it was very funny. <laughs> it really caught me off guard because that hadn't been spoiled by the preview, and I was surprised when that happened. Yeah, yeah, and again, if you've ever watched it, well, I mean, even Jackass the TV show, like some of these skits are like ten seconds long, so we've barely scratched the surface of, uh, yeah. you know, the amount of skits. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, was there another skit that you that stuck out for you that you liked that you want to talk about? Or I liked all of them. Uh, I guess w my favorite types of skits are the ones that really mess with people. Uh huh. You know the. Uh, 
I mean, you know, pre jackass, you know, Tom Green was doing that. I, I like that when that was a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was the Johnny Knoxville skit where he's like the, uh, he's up in the cherry picker doing uh, electric work on a transformer on a, you know, electrical pole. <laughs> and uh, so he's there alone. And rather than uh, climb down and uh, readjust the bucket, he asks uh, uh, just some random lady to do it for him. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and of course, the whole thing's rigged and he ends up. It, it dumps him out, and he's, like, you know, hanging by his foot upside down, screaming. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it could have been... It was really funny, and it could have been so much better, but... <laughs> but the, the person they got was uh, a very Karen of Karens. Yes. <laughs> so he's, like, yelling at her how to, like, fix him. Uh-huh. And as she pulls things, like, you know, it's, you know, again, rigged, so it's, like... You know, he's acting like he's being electrocuted and flipped over again. Everything so goes wrong. It's supposed yeah, everything, to. Yeah. Yeah. So she, he's telling her what to do. And so everything keeps going wrong. So she gets pissed at him. Yes. She, <laughs> <laughs> so she's trying to save this dude and she's all pissed off at him. Yes. So it could have been so much better had they gotten a good sport or somebody even that was just concerned. She wasn't even concerned. She was just pissed. Yeah, she was ready to just. It's like, eh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> she's ready. To, she's ready to just like, like throw up her hands and leave him. Wait, you just kind of crossed into uh, Max Mom from Always Sunny. Is she here with us? Which also sounds like uh, Nick's mom from uh, Love Is Blind. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and also Stevo if he's yes! very ill. <laughs> Goodness. Um, yeah, so I think that was all I had from the movie. Did you, anything else? you feel good about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, we don't have to go over everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I guess on the flip side, I can't think of any skit that I was bored with. No. Uh, how about you? No, I don't think so. I, I wish they had actually made it a little longer, truthfully. It felt like it went too quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, the twenty five minutes of trailer uh, <laughs> didn't help that, but yeah, it felt. I mean, I guess it was what like ninety minutes. Ninety six so, minutes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a little on the short side, I guess. Yeah, but I, it of, was good. Of, of course, you know, again, Jackass four point five is going to come out, so you, you'll be able to marathon <laughs> uh, one. You know, all five variants of uh, all the Jackass <laughs> movies. Uh, Streaming soon on Paramount Plus. That's right. And see, he give us money. You think he's teasing? We've actually been watching our way. I think we said that at the beginning. We've been watching our way back through. So we'll be doing that, I'm sure. Yeah, and again, if you have a little patience, uh, it's going to be streaming uh, within within March, I believe. I don't remember what date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was so weird. I know we talked about it at the beginning too, but we kept waiting and waiting for this movie to come out. Originally, it was what October. I th- yeah, it was Oct- October of last year, uh, then then January, so, then... Yeah, yeah, January then, I think. It was yeah, October, it's, and then January, and then... February. February, March, I, I don't know, something. Yeah. We found out, like, a couple days ago, or whatever, right before it released, it was like, oh shit, it's actually coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, it was it last weekend, I, I guess? I think so, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. I, mean, I I think the uh, the last delays, uh, or I can't remember which one. Definitely one of the delays had something to do with Bam. Uh, I think he oh. he got he got some legal stuff started, and I th- don't know if that directly delayed it, but I, I would assume they probably had to edit him out if nothing else. Oh, I forgot about that. Sure, yeah, gotcha. Well, and then do you, we just heard the story again because we watched Steve-O's, uh YouTube channel. Uh, Steve-O finally was so excited about the premiere. So many things had delayed it. He talked about the delays, and then do you remember what happened there? He tested positive uh, day of. Oh, yeah. day, don't, yeah. We can't say what for, but you know what for. He tested positive day of. Yeah, well, it was crazy. Like, it sounds like we're obsessed with wrestling. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he, he showed the behind-the-scenes thing, and he was on his way. Uh, he was flying in a private jet with uh, the Jackass crew and also Ronda Rousey, who was a surprise uh, return in WWE. Mm-hmm. So they were all they were all going there for cross-promotional stuff. Uh, uh, you know, Rousey was there just out of convenience. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess they all live in L.A. Yeah, so I guess at some point between then and the premiere, Steve-O tested positive, and he had to go home. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, and he couldn't. I guess he couldn't fly, so he had to get his driver to come out and get him. Exactly. So he, yeah, he took his tour van, tour bus. What? It's huge tour bus. Um, 
but I think even his fiance or wife, I think it's his wife now, uh, got to go to the premiere, but he had to not go because he tested positive day of. Can you imagine? That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the whole crew minus Steve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so the next movie coming out that I'm super excited about, I'll be talking about, Jay probably won't, uh, the Downton Abbey movie, I think. Oh, so speaking of that, that was supposed to come out. I It's fresh in my mind because it's supposed to come out in March, but they just pushed that one back. Did you know that? I, was, I know I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to them. Uh, <laughs> you don't know anything about Downton Abbey. I did not know. <laughs> Inform me. So it's supposed to come out, uh, I think, mid-March, but we just got word that they're pushing that back to... May 20th, something like that. My birthday's right around that time, so I look forward to drinking tea and watching Downton Abbey in the theater. I will definitely be going to see that. I'm sure you have. Have fun. Yeah, you have strong <laughs> opinions about that. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, for what it is, I mean, it's not my cup of tea, haha. Ha. Oh. But uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I see why people like it. It's They do a good job on that. It's awesome. So I'm obsessed with England. It ties into that. I'm obsessed with period pieces. I'm obsessed with Julian Fellows, all that. So. Yes, it scratches that itch, and I can't wait to see that movie. Are there any other... I was trying to think if there's anything else we talked about wanting to see. Oh. <clears throat> I guess not directly that, but going back... We, we, we missed one of the previews. Uh, well, I mean, we didn't talk about all of them, but I forgot. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Normally would not be on my radar. I mean, if you have kids, it probably is. Uh, you know, I've, I, so I've got, you know, I've got my video game channel... I've never been that big in the Sonic, you know, never really thought of it. I probably never would have watched the movie, except I took our kid to see it. <laughs> Surprisingly good. And it's uh, Jim Carrey, uh, you know, again, I'm talking about the first one. Uh, Jim Carrey being uh, uh, like the Ace Ventura era Jim Carrey. Uh -huh. he, he really, he makes the movie. I really, I, I went in just expecting to be bored out of my mind, but it was actually a pretty good movie <laughs> I for did, what it is. And I didn't think I would, I, of course, he took the kid. I stayed home. Great with me. But when they got back and then, you know, time passed and came out to video or whatever, our kid obsessively watched it. I actually sat down and watched it and I was shocked. I actually enjoyed it too. I don't have a huge interest to see the second one, but I didn't hate the first one. I'll say it like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't know if we'll be running out of theater to see this one, but I'm sure our kid's going to watch it at some point. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's got Jim Carrey still in it. Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey, old Jim Carrey, uh, that we all love in living color kind of Jim Carrey. <laughs> and uh, r randomly Idris, how do you say his name? Idris Alba. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, he's Knuckles for reasons oh. so cool <laughs> because he's in everything now <laughs> that's seriously cool. what that guy's in every movie lately oh, i know but yeah that's awesome if he's not if he's not a robot man uh stopping uh, the fast and furious people from driving their cars he's uh the red echidna <laughs> being a bat being a bully okay yeah so i'm i'm glad we went to see it i'm excited about the down Abbey movie i'm sure there's gonna be other movies we'll be talking about if there's a movie you guys go see leave us a con uh, first of all leave us a comment are you wanting to see this movie does this interest you at all do you just like to hear a couple of jackasses like jay and i talk about jackass like <laughs> yeah does uh, sex in the city uh, fandom does that cross over yeah. into the sex in the shitter <laughs> Well, yeah, it basically did. We saw a lot of bodily fluid on in just like that. So that's that's very true. I forgot about that. We saw peeing and barfing, which is basically what we just watched. But at least this one was funny. That wasn't even funny. Yeah, nah. <laughs> but um, let's see. Tell me what else is going on on your channel. What are you working on now? Uh, right now, I guess the big thing I have going on is if you're familiar with Marvel versus Capcom, somebody has. Figured out how to modify the uh, third game and the essentially put in any characters they want. I mean, it's a little more complicated than that. So, I've just been showcasing other people's work. Uh, so, if you have any interest in seeing uh, Shrek fight uh, uh, Wendy of the Wendy's uh, uh, fast food chain, uh, you know, uh, against Dragon Ball Z music, I've got you covered. Wow! Hey, can you make Kim Cattrall fight Sarah Jessica Parker? Because I guarantee you, we'd all watch that. I will put that request in, and we'll see if they get back to me. <laughs> That'd be great. No, it really. I I'm not into video games so much, but I do watch his, his. I don't mean to make fun of it. Silly videos like that, and they're really fun. So do check those out. That's awesome. 
if uh, if you want to tie back in the jackass, we've talked about it before, but I did the one chip challenge on my channel uh, while playing a video game, and that was the spiciest damn thing I've eaten in my life. <laughs> and I, it's very hard for me to throw up. I came very close, and I really wanted to because I felt so bad. Uh, but uh, I didn't. I just I, fin I powered through and uh, cried. Aww. <laughs> I know. I was, oh God, I was ready to throw pig semen on you or whatever you needed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not helpful, but thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, so he's Dr. Bad Vibes, all one word. I'll put it up on the screen right now so you can check it out. Do hit that subscribe button. Even if you don't end up watching anything, that's cool. Just hit that subscribe button. It does help him out. If you want to spam his comments with Sex and the City stuff, he loves it. He has no idea what it means, <laughs> but do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of people stop by. I appreciate it. I mean, hey, it gives me engagement. So, yeah. hey, any help Any help helps. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, and on my channel, I mean, all kinds of fun stuff. You know, I'm still working through, I don't know what day this is going up. Love is Blind, the finale, uh, working on all kinds of stuff. We got uh, still the Inventing Anna. I'm working on Sex in the City movie. I just finished, well... I haven't posted them yet. I'm working through the first movie. I got it all recorded, so I'll be posting all those. And then I'm so excited to jump on the second movie. I'm about to jump into Devil Wears Prada. A lot of requests for that. And I'm very excited because some of the same, I think it was Pat Field and Molly Rogers, I believe, worked on Devil Wears Prada. So I'll be going through that. We'll talk about some fashion there. You guys, I got to give Jay all the credit in the world. He is my merch guy. Um, he's, he's really good at that. So Jay just put up some new merch. You know, I'm obsessed with that German heiress stuff. Jay, tell him about the merch you just put up. Oh, which ones are new? we got the German heiress. Yeah. Uh, um, it says, trust me on it. Yeah. Trust me. Just like the show. Everybody trusted her. I actually just ordered a shirt for our kid that says German heiress. Trust me, which is pretty perfect. I hope people trust her. Yeah. <laughs> But no, wait, uh, so many mugs. So many of y'all have, have bought the, listen to me, sound like a redneck, y'all. So many of you guys have bought uh, the German heiress mugs. I appreciate that. This show is called Midnight Toast. I got all kinds of Midnight Toast stuff. Lots of mugs going out on that. And my personal favorite, this is a load of pants. Jay designed those mugs. He did the graphics for them. Thank you, Jay. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh and uh yeah so i have i have that mug and i have all the mug i love them i even have the shirt this is a load of pants so much fun again got that shirt for my kid too because i just thought it'd be funny for her to wear that yeah and if anybody ever has any suggestions just send it to jen or, or myself i've we've made a few on the fly i mean i have a Believe it or not, I have an art degree, a digital <laughs> art degree that I never use. So that's a rare instance I get to feel like I'm, you know, getting a little bit of money's worth out of it. You know, I'm glad you bring that up because somebody had mentioned in the comments that they or actually a couple people had said they wanted teeth merch. So leave me a comment if you if that's something you actually want. I could put Jay on designing some sort of teeth like with multiple oh, e's or drawing teeth something yeah. like that <laughs> Our, i've already got ideas okay <laughs> so leave me a comment <laughs> if that's something you're interested in. in if not we'll move on it's totally cool but yeah i think that's it for us thank you for listening to midnight toast you know these are some of my favorite episodes because i love doing the recaps but there's times where i just want to like be silly and talk about random stuff and this is kind of our place to do it so yeah, Jay, thanks for being here, and thanks for the outlet. And <laughs> Sure, I got to talk about puke. Ha-ha. <laughs> I know. Win-win, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you guys have a fabulous week. Check out Jay's channel, and you know I'll post a thousand more videos, so check those out. And thanks for everything. Oh, check out Patreon, too. So many of you have continued to sign up. Thank you for that. We got different tiers. Uh any of the tiers get the original Sex and City episodes. We're recapping those. We got, um, we just switched to Always Sunny. So I'm very excited about that. We'll be covering Always Sunny because Carrie Diaries got a little boring. We don't want to be boring on Patreon, so we're doing Always Sunny. And the top tier gets to pick what we watch. So that's been so much fun. So many cool shows to come out of that. And I think that's it for me. So thanks, guys, for everything. And, Jay, you want to say bye-bye? Can you laugh like uh, Chris Pontius one more time for us? <laughs> 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 thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Does Steve-O want to say bye to everybody? Yeah, dude. <laughs> thanks for listening to Jen. <laughs>
and me.